Walkies. Oh, does David want to go for walkies? Yeah. Walkies? Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, so loud. You oh, doggies can't open the door? <laughs> what do we fucking say about that? <laughs> I spit all over your face. Because that's what you deserve. Fucking dog. <laughs> Animal. You say yes or whoop. Whoop. Fucking beat the shit out of you. Chainsaw Man! <laughs> Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. You may have noticed some form of something before this video. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it'll be because I haven't edited it yet. But uh, it's going to be something, all right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, stay tuned to this channel for more of that. Whatever I don't that know. We're just does. trying to give you something other than a static image. Uh, I know our audio and our delicious voices and our amazing chemistry and our... Uh, that's all we got. <laughs> I know that's really good and definitely worth subscribing for, but like, I don't know. I, I f we feel you deserve something else. So have our like 2005 Smosh level uh, skits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those were fun to film, by the way. We got to do more of those. That's because David ha has a, a kink. <laughs> it's the only reason we film that. Don't kink shame me, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Confirmed. Gets off. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I have to start off by saying one thing. Um, you know, it's funny how you, the ups and downs of life work because, like, some there are times where I think I'm a fucking idiot and the comments are like, you are fucking dumb for not noticing that pixel in that corner of that thing. Whereas this chapter, all I've seen in the comments section of our last review is, how the fuck did you call the Kishibe shit? And I'm like, I don't know. It's pretty obvious to me. He's one of three characters that can four. matter enough that are still alive. I mean, we have four characters and one whore. <laughs> Which one's the whore? Kobani. I wasn't going to – I don't know. I, because, like, whore can be used as, like, a just derogatory term. L like, you know, that whore, even true. if you're not a whore. So I thought maybe true, we were true, calling true. Makima the whore. Well, I mean, there's a different word for her, and that Kobani is Kobani doesn't want to be a whore. She's a – on the inside, she's a wholesome creature. Yeah, on, her, on the inside, she's a wholesome creature, but she also is a call girl broth – we don't really know. Kobani I don't is know the, uh, the, that, like, thing that you see in, like, shows a lot where it's, like, it's like the character with, like, a fuck ton of tattoos and, like, scars and, like, 30 piercings, but they're actually, like, a wholesome sweet boy that oh, wants yeah. to, like, walk a granny across the street. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When you've been like, dealt a certain hand in life and, and from the outside, yeah. it looks like you're you're a bad guy. Duh. Uh, but actually, you're not. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we don't we don't even really know what they consider a prostitute in Chainsaw Man world. It could be a stripper. For oh, I know. Time. I know. I know <laughs> what they consider a prostitute. <laughs> this is Chainsaw Man world. They don't hold back. But let's talk <clears> about <throat> this chapter, shall we? Yeah. Uh, fucking hell. Like, so... Let, let's we'll get to to my boy Mr. Top of the Verse in a second, but but I did I did kind of want your thoughts on that though. Like I don't know if you saw the comment I was talking about. It was like from today. They were like, I "How the hell it. did you call that shit?" And I'm like, it really was pretty obvious to me. Like like where else could it have gone? Yeah, I can go verbatim because I responded to that shit while I was leaving work. Uh, I'm just like, I mean, we have. Four, uh, there, I mean, there are four active characters left. Denji, Makima, Kishibe, and Octopus Boy. And then there's Kobe, Kobani, too, but she quit. Kishibe has this grudge against Makima, so she was a lot just a choice. grudge. Like, it's almost like a... I, I feel like Kishibe feels like he's the last sane person in the world. I mean, is he wrong? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, like it feels like... Um, like, you see this in real life, although much less exciting, because in real life it typically is less about, like, magical power fights and more like you're the one guy in Congress calling for health care to be free. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, like, you know, you just see this, like, where there's, like... It, typically, that's how it goes. There's, like, a tiny group of people that are, like... What? I, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Die. What is this the wrong with everybody? So like that's why I've I've loved Kishibe from the start. Where like especially when it started when he had his little like clashes with Makima, his conversations with Makima, and then finding out he wants to take her down. Like he does kind of feel like the protagonist in my mind now. Especially yeah. now that towards the end of this chapter, Denji is literally like a force for evil now. Like he yeah. si officially simped so hard that he is like one of the main forces against the good ending of this manga. Yeah. Never go full simp. This is what happens. In fact, next time you meet a simp online, just send them this manga. Like this is, this might as well be a goddamn like 
dare commercial <laughs> like you know the, the old anti-drug shit this is an anti we know that works so fucking well red <laughs> no dude i the, 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 i know dare well because dare actually worked on me because i was a very impressionable boy so, like like uh, and whereas every single person in my school was like <laughs> fuck that shit let's smoke weed behind the school and laugh in the police officers faces where i was like yeah that makes sense that, that, that all makes sense to me <laughs> i'm just gonna never dare worked shit. on this motherfucker <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, man. But I'm officially nah. more of a fucking Chad than uh, Steel Ram. Because uh, did you see that thing that you put on Twitter where it was like like you tally up your score for how much like bad shit you've done in life? Uh, I w I'm missing three. Yeah, I'm yeah. Missing I was three. missing 12 and he was missing 13. So we're around the same. But he's slightly <laughs> more beta. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've apparently had a really fulfilling life. No, there, maybe there comes a point where is it fulfilling or stupidity? Like, like I fell down the stairs this weekend because uh, I was trying to push a bean bag, like a giant bean bag chair, down the stairs, and it got wedged. So I decided to try to ride it down the stairs, and I fucking like somersaulted over that shit and like almost broke my leg. Sure, that was that's an experience and a story to tell, but like if I broke my leg, it would have been real bad. Yeah, yeah, I would have. Oh my. I should call in my. Uh, hold on, let me see. Let me see if my roommate wants to make a cameo. Hold on a second. Hey, David, oh you entertain God. them. Oh, uh, so. Legitimately though, like what is left? Like we've seen fucking dudes slitting their throats to unleash a goddamn hell devil. But what the fuck can happen now? Did you just ran through that shit like a goddamn freight train? Nothing is terrifying in this series anymore. It, the world it could be on fire. Didn't you be over there just cuddled up and mocking them and slap like this is fine. This is fine. I don't know what the fuck to expect anymore. I've quit expecting things just to make content out of this fucking series. But Jesus Christ, there's nothing left. Game over, man. Game over. God damn it, Red. I can only ban for so long. <laughs> He's nervous. <Midas. laughs> I can it. only vamp for so long, you motherfucker. I, I had to, bro, because Justin's being a baby back bitch. Why? And, and I know he can hear me. <laughs> you got those thin 1960s walls now. Well, here's what dude. happened. He was actually upset at me for going down the stairs, and we had a little argument about it. And uh, oh, because no. well, well, it's fair. I mean, because his point was like, if you did break your leg, then all of us, then like you'd be out of work, and then I'd be fucked. You know, we're kind of we're basically a married couple at this point. We have to fucking cover each other. Oh. Yeah. As you, you know, as it be, millennials living in this life, you got a fucking roommate. But anyway, what were you talking about while I was gone? I'm like, what the fuck can happen now? Nothing is terrifying in this universe. There, the oh, hell yeah, no, the one-shotting needs to stop. Can we discuss this? The one-shotting is getting a little too overboard. <laughs> like, the, you, like I'm sick and tired of the fucking one-shots, honestly. Like, I, um, he just hell devil, down the and then Denji, one-shot. Gun devil, Makima, one-shot. It's like, Relax. He just took down the embodiment of hell itself. The fear of hell. That's the power of simping. I, 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 I this is not even simping. This was happening before simping. No, it this is was simping. Like... No, it, because that, that's the thing. Like, Makima's doing the, it's the same thing she did in the, um, like, assassin, assassin arc. Where she's like, fucking, save me, Chainsaw Man. Like, you know she's doing this sultry voice. And she's like, hmm. Uh, <laughs> she's pulling her classic damsel in distress shit. That's what she does. She's she's doing that. She's pretending. T it's funny too. Like I don't know how fucking like out of. I want to. I want to look into Denji's mind. I really want to know where he. Like I guess he's just so broken and he doesn't want to think. Period. Which is kind of what we saw. But like, it can't be that he thinks she's she's d desperate. I guess he's just like this is the only place for me in life. I'm too far gone. Like I don't I don't know. Like what is his motivation at this point to fight for Makima? Just like why even be alive at this point? Like literally fucking end yourself. Dead. Like why why what is the point of living? What happiness do you gleam out of this situation? If you save me, I'll take off my clothes. Uh, yeah, will she smash? That's the true question here. Like, I, I I don't even know at this point. Like, she is clearly the most powerful person in this fucking universe. And yet, she's got him wrapped so far around her finger, it's cutting off the fucking circulation. Well, clearly, um, I like that metaphor, by the way. Clearly, the chainsaw devil, like, because, I mean, what we're seeing at the end here is most likely the, like, true form of the chainsaw devil. Can we both agree on that? I don't know! 
I no, don't know what to expect. You do know. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was pretty obvious. Uh, that was more of a rhetorical question. It's, yeah, it's the true it's form of the chain level. Um, it's clearly the form. If it's the true form, or they're going to do another form change, or some sort of like. Well, I imagine this is like the humanoid form, whereas like. I know that there might be like a dog form, like almost like a Ganondorf Gammon scenario where there's like an animalistic form, and I, maybe because they keep referencing it as like a dog. Um, I don't know, but like I, that's what I assumed it was, like a more I, true. I'm form. guessing the the beast form is like him as Cerberus with three jutting out heads, like because at this point this is just a metal cover oh, yeah. album. Like, well, you know the so I mean there's the a lot going on visually, and what I like about this it. manga like is it, it doesn't like explain everything. You just kind of like leaves you to interpret it. So like obviously we're seeing um, very similar to when Makima died the first time, and like the weird like. Um, what I assumed was like a parasite halo. Some people were like, it's a bit of a brain, whatever. But like, th- this seems to be a thing with Makima. Like whenever she like takes control of someone, that kind of shows up. So I'm thinking the the organ wrapping around his neck is is a, is like a visual representation of Makima taking control of him. I believe that has to do with her control level powers. So that organ wrapping around him, that's not part of the Chainsaw Man design. That's Makima's control over him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... I'm also a big fan. I, can we can we fucking dr- drop some respect on my boy Kishi Bay right now? Like I love how they did this. <laughs> like I really do because he knows that Makima will continuously like revive. So he has like a squad, like an alternating squad to just continuously riddle her with bullets. <laughs> yeah. Like all right, as we're getting up the fucking like like <laughs> sacrifice suicide cult to summon the hell demon. <laughs> While we're do- prepping that, I'm going to need about, like, 50 guys to just keep, like, fucking just alternating, like, riddling her with bullets so she can't get uh, up. I, I'm going to need some snipers up there, some M16s over there. And, uh, you know what? Just for good measure, uh, some dude just standing over her corpse, popping her full of fucking lead. Oh, yeah. They, they, I, they have fucking rocket launchers. It's everything. I, uh, just... Make sure she's a viscera. I just, she's well, just this is so, it's always so viscera. satisfying when fictional characters don't underestimate. Like, when fictional characters treat villains with the respect that we treat them with, you know, they have, they they know what we know. They're not going to be like, what? How can you possibly? No, Kishibe is a smart motherfucker. Like, this is a situation where the defeat feels earned by Makima. Like, the win by Makima feels earned. It's not like the good guys are just dumb. Like, you know, he, he oh, came yeah. at her with everything. And I, because at first I was like, okay, the guns are, you're keeping her down, but how are you going to keep her dead? And then I thought that was honestly genius. Like, oh yeah, hell devil, and then tear her down to hell, and that's how we're going to do it. Like, that was genius. Like, that's actually, like, really smart, but it just won't work. Except you have the simp devil Well, that, that's there. the thing, and that's why I'm like, I, I was literally like, fuck you, Denji. I'm actually mad at Denji now. Like, that's the point where we've gotten to. I'm like, fuck you, Denji. Because, like, fuck let, you. I get the vibe that this would have worked if it wasn't for Denji. I really do. Oh, yeah. Well, how uh, much can you – you brought up the parasite thing. How much can you put to Dingy himself, and how much is the will of Makima taking control of the body? I get the vibe that you semi have to be, like, open to it in order for it to work fully. Yeah. Because fair. otherwise, why would she spend all the time of, like, breaking him down mentally? And, like, she she always makes people say, say you give everything to me. Say you'll become my dog. You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely, like, an element of them, like, giving up control. Yeah. So, straight up, fuck Dingy. We're in the fuck Dingy squad now. Oh, yeah. Out. No, it's, it's really – I love how this fucking manga is rolling right now. Like, he's quite literally, like he, – he started off as the main character, and he's become, like, the main villain's right-hand man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, like, you don't see this very often either, at least in Shonen Jump itself. You see it in other magazines a bit where the the hero becomes the villain or the villains uh sub, subservient to the villain but like very rarely do we see it done this well either like in all honesty i, I know i stroke my code dick constantly on the channel but like lelouch is one you and i can't say anything on a, another one out of respect for you and uh what? and all lot like in all honesty, there's not many other examples. I feel. Wait, I don't know what you're saying. Thing. What do you mean, out of respect for me? What? Because it's a series you're watching instead of reading. Um, oh, Attack on yeah. Titan. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I can't say what all happened in that, but like, I've heard yeah. certain things. If you're talking about Aaron, maybe doing some shit. Yeah. yeah. I've, heard li- I've heard things here and there. Uh, not nothing yeah. fully, but yeah, I can kind of yeah. guess. Cause I know like, I mean, a major plot line of where I was, was, uh, them trying to get him to come over to the Titan side. So. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, I haven't watched the anime, so I've been reading the manga. Also, since... Makima does say here, um, they've all been waiting for the day of the resurrection, <laughs> which I imagine is in line with the future devil's uh, prediction that the devil, which devil fears the most, be, will be mm-hmm. uh, summoned. Which I imagine, I guess, is not the hell devil. You think it would be, but I guess not, because I'm, I'm guessing it's something that Makima is is doing, not Kishibe's dudes. Well, in all honesty, uh, how many people in modern society fear hell? I mean, we've kind of oh, that's at- massive. Like, I, that's that's something I'm I'm genuinely terrified of. Like, I think about well, that a lot. I, I I look is we've gone more from traditional religion to more agnosticism. No, I'm sorry. I, I literally you can you can claim atheism all, atheism all you want. I think that's almost a primordial fear. Like the the idea because literally no one can claim what what that they know what happens after death, right? So like. I guarantee you, even the most atheist of atheists, that's a, 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 an idea that pops in their head. Like, but what if? You know what I mean? I was raised atheist, and that idea was still constantly like, but what if? But what if? You know what I mean? I, there's no one. I don't believe it for a second. There's <clears> no one that, like, doesn't fucking ever think about that shit. Yeah, I, it's just a, a differing in beliefs there, but yeah. No, I, no, no. I know you don't believe you don't believe in religion, but I, I literally you could literally strap me down and fucking clockwork orange me to death. I refuse to believe that you've never feared the concept of like some sort of horrible afterlife. I will never believe that. Honestly, no. Well, <laughs> I think you're lying to yourself, but that will be a, a agree to disagree. Yeah. We could sit here and debate that one all day. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> that's just the the fear of unknown, the fear of the unknown. Because literally no one knows what the fuck happens after death. There's no way to know for sure, and therefore there's no way to not fear it, at least a little bit. But wouldn't that be an unknown devil instead of a hell devil? Well, it's more of a – fears can take more vague terms and more specific terms. You know what I mean? True. But, true, like, true. I remember when I was an atheist, my fear of hell wasn't gone. It was – more just something I tried to bury deep within me and not think about. Maybe I've subconsciously buried it so deep uh, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I'm just lo- like, do you fear death at all? Not really. <sighs> I've been, I've technically been dead. Medically. Okay. So. <laughs> I, do that you fear doesn't... what comes after life at all? Like because of its, how it's unknown and all that stuff. No, not really. I don't believe you, but that's okay. <laughs> No, I the thing I would fear would be not being able to control how I go out. Like and that's something that mm. happened. We talked about that when I had my surgery. Like I suck it sucks that I can't choose when to go out here. You want to die like doing a backflip off the Empire State Building like through a flaming ring. I don't want to say how I want to go out. If I could choose you want the to ultimate get, I mean in, in a couple chainsaw mans ago or maybe I don't remember. I think it was chainsaw man. You said well, that you yeah, wanted, like you wanted that... to get crushed by some thighs. That, yes, that is the ultimate fantasy death. But if I had to choose, like, I have a day to live, I can do whatever the fuck I want with no consequences, I can't legally say what I would do. <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> just say in a video game. <laughs> uh, let's just say there'd be a guillotine involved in a video oh, game. Oh, yeah, so basically you'd go around, like, fucking super <laughs> revenge killing everyone that's ever fucking wronged you. I got you. Sure, we'll go with that one. <laughs> Because if it's eating the rich, like, like that's really – there's no point in doing that if you're going to die. Like, you got to be there to reap the rewards. Mm. If my homies can live happily. Oh, thanks, David. You can eat the rich for us. <laughs> take that bullet. Take one for the team. Yeah. Just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heads <laughs> rolled. That noise. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful but no i i gotta i just want to give total credit though to this the fucking uh respect be uh fucking respect be laid on top of the anti makima squad <laughs> oh yeah these boys like i was reading this shit and like you know a chapter is good when you're like screaming to yourself <laughs> in an empty house and like i was reading this shit and i was like these boys are ready like literally he's like anti makima squad do it up and they just like 
flinchlessly kill themselves. Like, oh. <laughs> like they, these motherfuckers know. Like, these motherfuckers know we have to do it. Like, <laughs> she's too scary. Do my work, hell devil. Uh, they're going to meet up in the afterlife, whatever it is. <laughs> like, and they'll be like, where's Makima? You... They're like, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> you motherfucker. I slit my throat for you. No, you're right. Because look how quickly the Hell Devil like gets fucking sliced by Denji. They're gonna get into Hell, and the Hell Devil's gonna come right after them, and they're gonna be like, "What the fuck? <laughs> this was supposed to work." This is the cut to the fucking Trump, tr- the Trump tweet. This is the worst trade deal possibly in the history of trade deals. Uh, <laughs> I sacrificed three good men for three? that. My guy, well, take a look at that panel again. It's like fucking one, two, three. It's like six. Six good men for that. They all di- now. By the way, uh, because uh, like a lot of his gunners are dead, and obviously those boys are dead. Um, but do we do we don't see Kishibe right? Like not confirmed that he's dead. Not confirmed he's dead. Oh, I hope he made it out. I hope he made it out. My boy, regroup, try again. <laughs> yeah, there's there's at least six slices in the throat. You're right. Kishibe's got to be the team rocket for Makima, just constantly popping up, trying new ways to kill her. <laughs> All right, last plan didn't work. This time, a giant fuck off net. What horrible devil have we not made a contract with yet? <laughs> the plague devil. Genuinely, She's already okay. Got- so now, honestly, he, the smartest thing to do now would be to go like go after Denji first, because now Denji is kind of her ace in the hole. Yeah. Because I do get the vibe that this would have worked without him. So now, like, if if he can somehow like get to Denji at a point where Makima's not paying enough attention. So all he needs to do is be like, okay, so I need to fuck Makima and get no. Denji's attention. Cringe. <laughs> no, not everything has to be a fuck joke, Denji. I almost called you Denji, lol. Um, I was going to go with the classy family guy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Why, though? Like, like, like lay down full... a trail of candy for Denji because he's stupid. But he's full on simp mode. The only way that he's going to get his attention is if he steals his chick. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. You you cannot argue with my logic. I don't know if Makima. I don't see that. That I don't see that happening. I don't see them smashing. I'll be. You're in a room full of dogs. You can't tell me she's a little thirsty. Makima, too. Does does Kishibe pretend to simp for Makima and then at the last second be like, "Just kidding, this was all ploy." Die, Denji. <laughs> Dude, he's just got to kill both of them. Honestly, like like at the same time, he should have had. Yeah, see, that's what that was. That was your fucking first mistake. Your your boys fucking unloaded into Makima. You should have had him unloading into Denji too. <laughs> Well, I mean, he has that fondness for well, Denji. That's the, yeah, exactly. I don't think he realized how far gone into the simpness Denji is. By the way, da-da, da-da, get down with the simpness. Somebody make that edit. Get down uh, with the simpness! Down with the simpness! Oh, my word. I, I, like, somehow OnlyFans and Dropboxes has to be in those lyrics too I, i'm gonna need a full-on like... <laughs> masterfully made edit of that song now oh yeah all about simping they should bell delphine's got to be in there too oh yeah someone like fucking buying a bunch of gamer girl bath water and like dousing themselves with it in slow-mo oh god <clears throat> Ugh, that's really gross um final thoughts I, I I I just don't even know where the series goes from week to week. I, I give up trying to predict. I love it. I, that, that's, uh, and, like, here's the thing. One Piece is my favorite thing to read every week, but it's because of how long it's been going, because of, like, the world building, and, like, just the amount. Like, it's been, like, 23 years all leading up to the shit that's happening right now. But if I remove the history of One Piece, the longevity of it, the the what it means to me because of how long I've been reading it, Chainsaw Man has got it beat. Like, like I literally am more excited every week reading this than One Piece. It, it's that good. Like, like, One Piece literally only beats it because of how long it's been going. I know the characters better just because just it's only well of the, the characters length. last more than a fucking exactly. Character. It's literally just because of the length. If it wasn't for that, Chainsaw Man is like the more exciting read week week to week. It's fucking wild. Yeah, I I was just I literally read this chapter in like two minutes because I'm like okay, call. Oh, this these fun. chapters been quick lately. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, okay, everything everything that I thought might happen has happened. Cool. 
Uh, must film a video. Oh, right, you're moving shit. <laughs> yeah, now we now that we got Kishibe out of the way. <laughs> now, now who's left? <laughs> well, I mean, Octopus Boy for the win? Question mark. You know what's weird? It it really does seem like because that the last arc before this, he was at least still spending like a long time in the fights. The fights. You know, they were the, with the Darkness Devil combined with the puppet girl, you know, like the doll girl. They were still long, drawn-out fights. They were, you know, within Chainsaw Man standards. It just seems like ever since that arc's ended, everything's getting one shot. It's like he just wants to be done. It's very strange. Like, just get pedal to the metal. It's like, legitimately, like, full force, we're going in. I don't give a fuck. I'm going under 100. You know what? Screw I, it. Yeah. And so, at, the, at this rate, I mean, we could theoretically wrap it up in a month, if that. I yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I have zero I, I, predictions. I, I I I've had really zero predictions other than pulling shit out of my ass for the last well fuck since the assassin arcs ended. Really. Yeah. So just uh just uh once again the weekly uh you're a fucking dumbass to that guy like three months ago who told me I was dumb for saying that it would end by one fifty. Said saying I would jump I was jumping the gun by saying it would end by one fifty. Yeah. Uh that was three months ago. So even I gave it longer than uh now now it's like mm, I'm probably by ninety. <laughs> uh, and now it could end weekly. Like fucking legitimately dumbasses. there's there's really we could mm-hmm. go to hell and end it I have no Ta-da. Idea. at this there... point Den- see like so now denji's in this form like what happens does he fight kishibe in this form that'd be kind of cool i mean kishibe supposedly is what the top one of the, of the fucking fighters. verse <laughs> I don't know. The power of simp might have him beat. You know, never forget. <laughs> never forget. That would be kind of a cool way to come back to that, though, because he was he was he was like you know you get strongest by you get stronger by fighting the strongest, and I am the strongest. So all right, back that claim up, Kishi Bay. Let's go. Like you Dyson. know, he's got a fucking contract with some devil that he hasn't fucking popped out yet. Like this is oh, yeah. Kishi Bay's last stand, and it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kishi Bay's last stand is legitimately gonna be one chapter. <laughs> I might be. I might cry if Kishibe dies. I like him. I I love him, but like the way we've been going, I I, I hate to say it. It'll probably be an underwhelming fight because everything has been well. Shit, I'm going to pop power and cut her torso in half. We're well, going to. I actually don't mind that they're being underwhelming because like it's kind. Of, it's a cool subversion. Like like I think it's just driving in the helplessness. Like like he, I think the author wants us to feel fucking helpless. Like no one can stop Makima right now. Well, you succeeding, goddamn it! Like it is on some Eisen shit. Like like when Eisen showed up at the end of the Soul Society arc, and it's like all the captains can't stop him. Ichigo Nubankai can't stop him. You know, it's like. Yeah, like. I I do I do want at least a two chapter fight with Kishibe. Can we get that Fujimoto? I'd be down. Um, I'll take a one chapter fight. <laughs> uh, I I'll just as long as it's not one page, I'd be happy. Uh, it just entrails everywhere. Fuck it. <laughs> it's becoming well, a slideshow. This manga, like it really is. It's a good slideshow. Uh, what is a slideshow? Oh, I still it, don't understand how chain the chainsaw devils. This that's something that needs to be answered. It probably won't be, but like, how why is the chainsaw devil so powerful? Like, I'm pretty sure more people fear hell than chainsaws. I'm pretty sure more people feel darkness than chainsaws. I I, I could go on and on. Uh, more people fear. I, I I see. There's two scenarios here actually for like devils that might be more powerful: the plague and famine starve the city to death or we want to go super dark in the times we're in cause a pandemic in there hmm. eh, i don't know maybe it's out there but possible um also never forget by the way i forgot to i almost forgot to mention this this uh hell De- hell demon's face looks like the fucking alien from alien <laughs> yeah it does kind of look xenomorphy yeah Peace. Wait a minute, not peace yet, because I gotta get to OBS and click. Stop recording. Here we go now. Peace. What the fuck? Oh my god.
god. Right. Well. Beautiful. <laughs>